Hey guys, welcome back. This should be the last video for this series. Uh, in the last video, we went ahead and created our fields here in the theme customizer. Now what we want to do is implement them. We want them to actually make a difference in our theme, in our showcase. So we're going to go ahead and let's open up uh, front page dot PHP because that's where the showcase is. All right, and we're going to do the image last because that's the most difficult. It's not really that difficult, but it's more difficult than just the text. So let's start with the heading. So if we look at our HTML here, we just have static text. So we want to completely actually you know what we'll do is sit. We'll copy it and then cut it out. All right, and then we want to replace it with PHP. Uh, echo. get theme mod all right and then in here we want to paste in which theme mod we want so it would be showcase heading all right now if we leave it as it is now there's not going to be a default now I, I realize that in our customizer file we set a default right here or rather right here but that's for the back end. That is for this right here to be filled in. If we want to default on the front end, then we just need to uh, add that as a second parameter. So right here, we're going to paste what we cut what we cut out. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And if we reload, we see the same thing. But let's do the test and see if <clears throat> it's actually taking effect. So we'll change it to hello world. All right, and you can see in our preview here, it's changing, okay, which is awesome. Now, if we save it and we go back to our front end and reload, there we go. Okay, so that's how you can implement settings in the theme customizer. All right, I'm just going to put that back. Okay, so let's move on and do the same thing with the text. I'm just going to copy what we have here and we'll replace this and change this to showcase text and whatever we had let me just grab that okay so that'll be the text and then we want the button text and URL so first thing we'll do href paste that in change this to btn URL default will just be HTTP test.com and then we want the button text as well okay and just to show you the default works let's say get started Okay, save it and let's go to the front end reload and you can see it says get started okay now for the last part it's gonna be the um, the background image so right now we have in our style CSS the showcase class so what we're gonna want to do is let's get rid of the background here all right and save and then we're going to go to our front page and we're going to put us some style tags up in the head area. All right, and this is where we're going to take care of the image. So we'll say dot showcase. And we'll put in background uh, URL. All right, and then in here we're going to say PHP echo get theme mod pass in showcase underscore image. All right, and then we're going to need a default here again. So what we'll do is we'll say get blog info. We want the template URL. Okay, and then we're going to just 
add slash image slash showcase dot JPEG. Okay, make sure that we end the PHP correctly. Like that. All right, so let's go ahead and save it and let's go to the front end. Reload and there's our image. Let's add um, our centers to it, though. Okay, we're going to add no repeat. And there we go. All right, now the bigger test is to see if we can actually switch it from the back end. So let's reload this. Now I have a test image on my desktop, so I'm going to click change image and let's upload showcase test and choose image. Okay, it uploaded here fine. Let's save it. Go to the front end and reload. And there we go. So we know that we can now change the showcase image. If we want to go back, we can say remove and then uh, default. That'll bring it back, save it, reload, and there we go. All right, so our website or our template, our theme, whatever you want to call it, is complete. Okay, we have all the correct functions. We have uh, customization. As always, the series took a little longer than I wanted to, but hopefully this gives you guys a foundation and um, you can go and start creating your own uh, bootstrap or, or whatever type of uh, WordPress theme that you'd like. All right, so thanks for watching. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you could subscribe, give it a like, that'd be great. And I will see you next time.